Hello everyone, welcome to Ethics Inc. In this third session, we are going to discuss ethical issues surrounding vaccines. Vaccines have played a key role in elimination or reducing prevalence of certain diseases who have afflicted human society on a very large scale, be it smallpox, measles, or polio vaccine. Now, the development of vaccine is not you know an endeavor which can be completed in a short span it requires a long duration from the development to its successful implementation those researchers and policy makers are likely to confront more than one ethical issues now what are the major areas where these issues can be encountered so number one is mandates of the government number two is research and testing number three is informed consent and number fourth is access disparities. Now let's begin with mandates. What happens in this area? Government takes initiative and provides immunization program like we have in India universal immunization program where large scale population is vaccinated to make it immune to certain diseases. Now the ethical issues are encountered when people think that getting vaccinated is against their religious beliefs or philosophical beliefs or they think that getting vaccinated does more harm than the benefits. Now I'll give you an example. For example, there is a vaccine against human papilloma virus which prevents sexually transmitted diseases. But those people who are religiously conservative and who think that sexual abstinence is more important than vaccination, they oppose this vaccine. Or take example of opposition to polio vaccination in Pakistan, where misconceptions like polio vaccine leads to infertility or impotency creates a large scale opposition. There, you know, you have found example where polio workers were murdered. Now, what is the way out? Now, if the diseases are life threatening, the way out is taking compulsory route. But if this is not the case, then we should go for education, persuasion, and the last resort is coercion. Because here is a clear clash between utilitarian principle on one hand and personal autonomy on the other hand. If we opt for personal autonomy, then we are putting lives of large number of people in risk because of the personal autonomy of few people who decide not to go for vaccination. Now, second thing, research and testing. Now, in this, there are many ethical issues, but we will look at a most vexing issue where researchers have to decide whom to include in the trials. This is particularly vexing or dangerous where diseases are life-threatening, fatal, and, you know, untreatable. In such cases, it is very difficult to prevent infection of diseases. I'll give you an example. For example, BCG vaccine for TB. Now, those people who have compromised immune system like HIV, AIDS, they are more likely to get TB through such vaccination. And it ha also happens in case of children. So this is one of the intractable issues faced by researcher in testing. Now, third is informed consent. In informed consent, it is all the time advisable that one should get informed and written consent from the participants of the vaccine trials. Now, while doing so, one thing should be kept in mind that participant may not be in position to understand all the processes involved and their implications. So, care must be taken to explain them the information in understandable format. For example, while explaining the concept of antibodies, one can liken it to the soldiers who are fighting harmful foreign intruders. Moreover, we can take the help of charts, diagrams, or animations. Now, there are some people who oppose such informed consent. They believe that sharing too much information sometimes may create unnecessary fear among the participants, making them reluctant to take part in the vaccine trials. But if we keep in front of us deontological perspective, we will find that it is must to share relevant information with all the participants because such trials have significant impact on their lives. 
now. The fourth aspect is access disparities. This is specially encountered in poor and developing countries where resources are not enough to provide vaccines for all people. So there, if we go for a deontological perspective, we say that every life matters. So what is the way out? Provide vaccine to all. But what if resources are not enough? Then there, John Rawls's theory of justice helps us. Here, John Rawls says, we should go for the people whose least well-off has not happened or who are poor. If talking medically, then we should go for those people who are most susceptible to the diseases like COVID-19. Say, for example, uh, elders, children, or people with comorbidity conditions like blood pressure, sugar, and other complications. So these people should be provided a vaccine on priority. So these different philosophical approaches help us to overcome these different ethical issues encountered around vaccine development and successful implementation of the vaccine. Now, UPSC aspirants must keep in mind all these four major steps and different deontological perspectives, utilitarian pr principles, and John Rawls theory of justice while taking decisions. And they should take care of you know, highlighting these approaches while making choices and providing justification for such choices. So thank you so much. Thank you. Subscribe the Unit Academy's YouTube channel and press the bell icon for latest updates and videos.